define this kind of space to redonkulous. That is a color. It really just lifts your spirit. Good morning, you guys. I am starting a job well done project, and this will be my first one that involves multiple power tools, and I am by myself. Now, don't worry. I've already called my dad for confirmation of things that I need, but I'm gonna tackle this one on my own, and we're gonna see how it goes. Now, our kitchen nook is so cute. It's coming together. The flooring is almost done. We do have quite a bit still to do in terms of baseboards and then one last strip kind of where I am going to be doing this project but I've got the kitchen nook bench and then above that I really want to define the space so what I'm going to be doing is vertical shiplap so I'm going to be shiplapping it all by myself which means I'm going to need I'm actually going I'm doing a collab with Rona Plus which is so exciting if you don't know what Rona Plus is um, it's basically Rona and Lowe's had a baby and now it's Rona Plus and I'm doing a collab with them over on Instagram and TikTok Which is so fun and I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. This is the BTS. This is these this video is for the real ones, okay? and I Need a table saw to do this project and so for the collab they are giving me a table saw. I am so excited <laughs> I am so excited. You don't use it too much, but the, in the times where you need to use it You need it Okay, because the handsaw that we were using to do the flooring when we were doing it, it just, it could have been better with a table saw. So I'm so jacked about that. It's like a $400 table saw. It's a DeWalt table saw. I'm a DeWalt girly. You guys know, the real ones know. So I'm jacked about that. And uh, then I need to go and buy all of the materials as well, including the shiplap. I definitely have enough nails. I'll double check. I'm just gonna double check all my stuff downstairs. I need to blend this better. And as well, some no nails glue and then some dap to fill things in. And then I'm gonna paint it as well. Not sure how that's gonna go, but we'll see. It'll be white to start, obviously, because the ship lap will be white and then we'll kind of go from there. But I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm procrastinating by chatting with you and we're just gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. I can't wait to show you the final project and who knows how long this is gonna take me. Also, midday, I'm kind of taking a break from it, which will either be awesome or wreck me, but I need to start finding some more balance in my life because last week I burnt out to the point where I just couldn't even string two sentences together. I had a great workout with Sydney this morning and now I'm in full Lululemon, some bright colors for the real, and we are ready to go. I was wearing the Define jacket, actually comes in a hooded version, but then it has these two dongly bits, and I just feel like that is unsafe if you are doing home projects with power tools, because if those get stuck in something, it can be scary. So just the regular Define is the way to go. Let's go get our saw. Let's go to Rona Plus. I'll show you around. It's really great because there's more decor. They do pr price matching. It's just a literal huge one-stop shop. And again, the real ones know. I'm always going to Rona, so Rona Plus is like mother. <laughs> so I'm just filming some behind the scenes, but this is what it currently looks like. We have our bench. There's actually supposed to be a baseboard here. It's just upstairs in our spare bedroom so that we can get the flooring under there. As you can see, there's just one last strip of flooring, which will be helpful having that table saw. So what I'm gonna be doing is I really wanna define this kind of space. And then we, I've said this a million times, I feel like, built-in, built-in new fireplace. But right now, just focusing on this, to define this space as our cutie little nook, I wanna do vertical shiplap to add in some texture. So today, that's what I'm gonna be doing, going to get that. But first, I'm just gonna clean it up, clean up this little area with um, Rosie's toys and our cookbooks off to the side there for a sec, and then film some befores, and then hopefully show you the after. is the oh i brought a case with the wrong earbuds so i guess these are gonna be fine so <laughs> it is the most gorgeous day today and i am so excited to do this project i just did all of my mapping out so i basically this is so hacky but normally i do this on canva so i'll build one of those to show you guys on the blog hopefully um but yeah so i measured everything up to estimate how many boards I'm gonna need? I need them to be at least eight feet. So I brought our huge truck instead of 
bringing our little tiny mini. <laughs> and I always feel like I'm like large and in charge going down the street. And it is midweek, but there's quite a lot of cars here. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too busy in there for filming. But because it's so nice, everyone is just in such a good mood. I'm wondering if a lot of people are going to be in the garden center anyways. But I'm going to try to just get like a ton of shots around Rona Plus without being too redonkulous. The trick is going to be getting this outdoor shot. You're on a little sticky guy. This outdoor shot. Um with that in the background, but I'm hoping that that's not gonna be too big of a deal to have as my cover, because I would love for the cover to actually be me working on the table saw, so wish me luck. I have the table saw. I'll show you a little iPhone shot of it. It's so cute. It's like small, but it's so perfect to come back. I've been taking a bunch of iPhone footage for the reel, but now's the time to get all of the shiplap pieces. And there's a save the tax event, which we absolutely love because I have just paid so much money in tax. So I'm like, yes, please. You guys, it feels like proper summer. <laughs> this is the absolute best, like, I am sweating. Everyone in Rona Plus is so nice. Like the, I go to the Ancaster location and the, the manager there of the store, the managers in the departments. I was working with Aaron in the um, tools department and then Layla is like the head manager of the store. They are so helpful. And even though they're like, oh gosh, like I don't fully under, sorry, please hold <laughs> my battery fell out. Even though they're like, I don't fully understand how your job works, I know how my job works, and they are just really, really helpful. And they even helped me load the saw into the truck, and I am so jazzed because it's actually very compact and absolutely perfect for what I'm gonna be using it for. It's not like I am building the foundations to homes. So I'm just really, really excited. I am not gonna put on the air conditioning. We are gonna put down the windows and get home with this stuff and start setting it up. the garage and officially we have all of the shiplap we're going to need and what I'm going to do now is set up the table saw. Do I know how to set up a table saw? No. <laughs> um, am I gonna figure it out? Absolutely yes. My concern is I guess I have this table that you're on right now that my miter saw is on and I guess technically I would need to put this on that because even though it's a table saw it needs a table to go on <laughs> the things that you figure out on the go guys but I think it's gonna be worth it I went on a quick walk with my bestie, so a little break in the programming, but what I just did was I set up the saw and I was just telling Scotty upstairs that as much as it would be easy for me to be like, dad, can you just do it or whatever, it is truly the only way to learn is if you figure things out yourself. So I watched a YouTube video, went through the whole setup process. That's the best thing is on YouTube here. There are so many awesome people who will walk you through literally the setup process of something like this from taking it out of the cardboard to getting it good to go. So I think I'm good to go. I think I understand the mechanism that is the saw now, which is great. The first cut that I have to make is actually a beveled edge, so it'll be on a 45 degree angle. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm well versed in my miter saw, so I think I'm gonna do the cut first that will basically be like the length and then 
do the next cut because then it will be not as long. So I'm hoping that we're gonna be good to go on that, but I bought extra pieces. I know it's a bit expensive if you screw up a bunch, but I did buy extra pieces just in case. And you just have to remind yourself, like if you make a mistake, mind you, you definitely don't wanna cut your fingers off, but if you make a mistake with materials, you're fine. You can just get another piece. It's gonna be fine. So I just need to challenge myself to start now and we'll see what happens. Especially, have had some sips of tea. The energy is back. One of the one of the biggest errors after doing a day of a project is sitting down at the end of the day. Because as soon as you sit down and you put your feet up, it is game over. And that was 100% true for me yesterday. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of progress behind me because to be honest, there's like hardly any progress behind me. And that is because yesterday was set up the table saw day yesterday and learning how to do it. I was also getting that first cut, which I will show you over here. So this is actually really exciting. So what Scotty and I did yesterday is we did this 45 degree angle cut so that when this, when this one, this is the only piece that will have that, is on there. It's basically gonna be like a really nice um, transition. So it won't be like square, square, oh, sorry. It won't, be, <laughs> it won't be like square, square. It'll be like on an angle. So it'll just look really nice and transitioned. I'm gonna make sure that I sand the edge of that. Um, I should actually do that before I put it up just so it's a lot easier. So I'm gonna do that first. And then I actually, with my multi-tool, which is this, if you guys have forgotten, this is a multi-tool. It's like the best thing ever. It's like this little, this little tiny blade and you can use it to cut things out. And by things, I mean outlets because I'm gonna have to cut around this outlet for that piece to fit there. And then the next pieces will also have cuts and then I have to do something with this nest too. Um, so once I get around that, once I get around that, I feel like the rest is going to be really nice and easy there. I mean, hold my tongue. I'm sure this corner is going to be a bit tricky and then we'll be figuring out the rest, but then there won't be any outlets. So I actually think this day could go by relatively fast. I have to film it, um, for short form video. So I feel like when you're filming things as well, things just take a little bit longer, but that's fine. I want to show you my inspo because I was on... I was on Pinterest last night. I just sent this to Sarah. We always love seeing each other's inspo. So I'm thinking something that's kind of like this. Like obviously this nook is so much smaller than ours, but I wanna bring some color into this house. So I'm thinking I'm actually gonna paint it blue. So my challenge today is get that wall up, dap in all of the holes and everything and like sand it down and make sure it's all good to go. And then possibly later today, oh, I just noticed some of the buds on our trees are starting to pop. Oh, so good. I did, um, so later today, I also would like to get a first coat or test some pink colors. So that's gonna be exciting, but that's a lot to do. That is honestly a ton to do. So I think we should get started on doing that little multi-tool cut and getting some of the measurements done. So sorry again that there's so much iPhone footage in this video, but it truly is hard to do all the things, but I hope that you've been enjoying it so far. Um, and I will link my Pinterest down below too, because on my Pinterest, I have so many boards for home inspiration. And I think that if you like the style of home that we have, you possibly would like that too. I was debating for so long whether I wanted to do a green kitchen, something like really nice and organic-y, but I love that we're leaning into the blue. I am definitely a blue girly and I just feel like it's a bit different from what everyone else is doing at the moment. I just feel like I see a lot of green kitchens, which I absolutely adore. And if you have one, I'm so jealous, but maybe that could be the kitchen for our forever home. Whereas we could have a little bit more fun here. So let's get into it.
When I turn up, you get going at every stop, baby. Oh, it's showing. If I should stay, you find a reason to leave. When I'm busy, that's the time you are free. Just tell me what should I do. officially have cut the first piece out, which is great. The nest, we're just gonna take these little bits off and then I will screw a hole and then thread that through and then reattach it. That was a little bit of mental finagling last night. So that is done officially. To secure the first board to the wall, I want to use no nails glue. So I'm gonna put that on the back and then I'm gonna use my brushless DeWalt Brad nailer and these nails will be just fine. I think, I wonder if those are the finishing nails. I think they are longer than an inch, probably an inch and three quarters for that one, um, to go through the board and then catch onto the wall. And I think before I do any of this, I'm going to take my, turn you so I can talk to you. I'm going to take my stud finder, figure out where all the studs are. I also am gonna use the Brad Nailer the same way that I used it when my dad and I were doing upstairs. So I'm going to use it on the very top and then I'm also gonna use it on the very bottom. And that is because one, the bottom, it'll be hidden by the cushion. So it will require less filling. And then two at the very top, you can kind of see that less. I mean, we aren't gonna be putting, I don't think we're gonna be putting a crown up there, but who knows, that could be the case later, like just a very simple crown just to finish it off nicely, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that. But, um, so yeah, cause you don't wanna put it right in the center. I don't think we did that. Or did we? I almost have to go up and check or like rewatch that vlog. Um, so yes, yeah, so gonna get that all done film to get the first piece on and I'm also going to use my level to make sure because walls can sometimes be wonky and more often than not they are so if this wall is kind of like out a little bit obviously this is an exaggeration I'm going to want to make this one straight so that the rest can be straight so when I put it up I want it to be straight <laughs> sometimes our eyes can definitely deceive us but the level never will <laughs> okay let me finish up this story this is what I meant by your house might be out. I was gonna use my level, that is so silly. A laser level in these scenarios are way better. And you should definitely invest in a laser level if you're gonna be doing woodworking like this. Cause check this out. Okay, so the laser level is obviously level. And then you go up and if you can see the laser, I'm gonna try to walk slowly so that it's not gonna jostle it. So I put the laser level on the edge here. And then when you go all the way up to the top, Look how much of a gap there is. That is how much this wall is out by. So what I'm gonna have to do is put this first board kind of what looks like on an angle, but it's not on an angle, it's actually straight. Okay, I know you guys probably wanna see like the finished product and the decor, but I learn something from these projects every single day. And before starting it, we are already in a roadblock. And this is how we're gonna fix it. So I might include this in the vlog. I might not, depending on how much girl construction we are including. But, so because the wall is out, this is what we have to do. I've just tacked this board up with three little brad nails um, so that I can flow from there. But because it was out by so much, like you can see the top, this is all level. The top is just cresting the corner there and the bottom here is completely lipped out and I did that because I used a full board for that I did that because we're actually gonna have to cut the board on an angle slightly with the 45 I don't know how to do that I'm gonna need my dad to help me with that but what I can do is the rest of the shiplap around the corner hopefully fingers crossed will be good um and I've just tacked this up because we're gonna untack it later this is just my official scrap piece now because I cut the outlet there um but yes so we're gonna be have to recut that later but so that i don't have to wait for that one piece to start i just tacked it up so that we can start and then i can undo that later but i can definitely glue and put up the other pieces so i'm gonna start doing that and then hopefully show you as the progress actually does continue
just had a little lunch break, but officially the first kind of wall is done. And I'm so thrilled with how it is looking. I'm also thrilled that I was able to get that corner a full one because I'm basically just gonna go until I have a full one. Um, yeah, and then some of the cutoff pieces as well, I'm gonna be able to use for these pieces up here. My question is, would you go around the bulkhead? Um, we are gonna be doing a built-in there, but then obviously it wouldn't be complete. Like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the inside bit and I could always add if I needed to. Um, maybe I will give my dad a call and some of my friends who are designers and see what they think. But for now, I'm just gonna tackle the second part of the wall and then I'll catch up with you guys after that. So I just reached this, I just reached this point where I have to make this cut where it's like, I have to cut out the window obviously, but I actually, despite the fact that I have all of these saws, I don't have the proper saw to do that. So I have officially called in the recruits. I just called my dad, that's like my earbuds in, and um, he's gonna come over in the afternoon just to help me make that cut. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the other ones just so this will go really nice and easy go up and then what I'm also gonna do if I have time is I'm gonna dap in the holes, sand it down and then go to the paint store and get some paint to hopefully start that process. So there's always some things to do um, along the way, but hopefully we can get this all up and sorted cause he is off to Frankfurt for three days with work and I need to get this done this weekend. So fingers crossed he can make it over. With every step you take I am so excited this wall is up. I'm so grateful to my dad for being my emergency call yesterday because I didn't realize I just didn't have the right saw to get around the windows. And we also figured out the slanted one. He did like a, he, I don't know, he had to use his eye and use this one punch cut. It was so interesting, but we ended up getting that last piece on. There might be one more piece that I add on this end, but I'm not gonna really worry about it this morning, I don't think. What I'm going to start doing is filling in the little holes. Now, back here, you can't see, but it's all of like these little guys. Um, and then here are some of the paint chits. I think we're gonna go with this. It's called Iceberg by Sherwin-Williams. It's gonna be a nice pop of color, but still kind of in that neutral blue era. And then the cabinets will be a little bit um, darker. Yes, 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 I am so excited. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna brew another tea, listen to a podcast, fill in those holes. We're gonna go to Sherwin-Williams, pick up the paint today. And, oh, I am also going to go to Rona again because I need a piece that's gonna kind of cap off the top and the bottom. It's just gonna be like this little finishing molding. Yeah, it's gonna be like a little finishing molding. So that will make it look so nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint that off the wall and then tack it to the wall with just one inch little finishing nails. Um, and then that will be great because then the paint will just look so seamless and perfect. So I feel like we have a couple of diff like, different Sorry, it's a couple of difficult cuts today just around this bulkhead top, but I'm excited to take on the challenge and when it comes to those moldings, they're not too expensive, so I'm gonna go slow if I have to go like saw blade by saw blade, um, I will. And that's, that's just part of the magic, so um, getting those cuts right, that'll be great, and then I'll paint them after, and we're just like rolling. I'm really hoping that I can pretty much get this done today. Besides the paint needing to dry, that's kind of gonna be the only thing, fingers crossed, that halts me up today. But it's looking so phenomenal and I just can't wait. And then to get the built-ins done beside will be 
so exciting, but that's gonna be not for a bit. So let's start. I just picked up my little moldings and then I stopped at Sherwin-Williams to pick up some extra little paint chits. I just don't know you guys. It's really hard and I think it's because we don't have like the colors of our cabinets where we can compare. But when I was putting darker colors next to these, they all look good, you know, like it all matched in some sort of way. So just trying to figure that out. I just really want to go for a bit more of like a neutral color. So I'm gonna bring these back home, bring in these moldings, hopefully have a little bite to eat and then come back and pick up the paint, maybe even after these are installed. So, oh wait, I'm not installing these, but cut anyways. <laughs> you guys, I am so happy that I came home to check colors. Scotty helped pick and we were picking between like these guys and these are the new ones. And we both decided to go for atmospheric. We are actually, I don't think I actually pointed out the right one there. <laughs> this one. We are actually gonna go for a color. While I paint, Scotty's gonna move along, and we are full on. <laughs> You're so in the shadows. <laughs> and we are all systems go household today. So I have officially added the last piece. And then if you could imagine here, this will be taken out and there'll be the built-ins like we've been talking about. And then on top of here, I'm going to be adding these pieces. Now here there's an outlet, so I'm actually gonna cut it. Boom, boom, just in case someone needs to know about that. And here I'll probably, hmm, I'll probably do, I'll probably just cover that part. I could have maybe made that lower. Um, here's a 45 degree angle that I'm gonna have to cut. So that's not gonna be too tricky because using the table saw is gonna be really easy on that. Um, and just thinking out loud now, I forgot that I have this little gap here, but I might, hmm, yeah, I might have to fill that. So that will be my last cut on the table saw actually. I might have to pull that back up, but first I think I'm gonna do these pieces, and then once I have them all set, then, uh, and I know that they're gonna fit, then I'm gonna go pick up the paint. Sometimes everything just gets hard. Sometimes everything just gets harder. Feeling like I'm missing some parts. Days just keep on getting much darker. Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying. Sometimes all you need is a spark. Maybe just a bit. Okay, I have to update you guys and literally, literally just put this in the vlog to say I'm so proud of myself and toot my horn just a, a little bit if you will indulge me. So we are doing the little framing work and it has to go up and around that corner and I managed to figure this out. So first of all, the flat frames are easy because they're 45 degree angles. And then I originally cut this one with same flat on this one. And obviously it didn't work because this is on a different plane than this side, if that makes sense. So then I have to change the cutting angle so that it fits more on that 90 degree angle, if that makes sense versus that 90 degree angle. Honestly, just feel so proud of myself. And so now that that's done, 
Um, I'm super confident to go pick up the paint because we have the end bit. Oh, the only cut, the only last cut that I could make is that little one in between there. But Scotty is just headed out to lunch and I just feel like, or not to lunch, that sounds like he's like, I'm going to lunch. He's headed out to the dump because he was cleaning out our shed, cut the grass, cleaned out the garage. Like we are on one today. I don't feel comfortable using the saw without someone else here, even though neighbors are out and about. So I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna go pick up, I'm gonna go pick up our paint. And I'm very excited. I am so excited. Okay, what is it? Atmospheric? That is a color, that is a color. <gasps> it's gonna look so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> You guys, we officially have color. We officially have the color. I'm gonna film this on my phone as well. I'm opening this up. Here we go. I'm so excited. Adding color to this home in three, two, one. Oh, it's really pretty. I wish you could see it better in that camera. Okay, I'll show you. Going point down. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm so ready. I'm going to paint up these little bits so that they can start drying in the garage. And I'm also gonna use my new hand sander to sand this entire wall and do a little rough scuff. I did the first couple and it feels so much better. Like I wish you could feel it. I wish you could see that. Time for the paint. the wall is done I am feeling so proud of myself like I can't even explain and I feel like we just need to toot our horn sometimes like we just have to be vocal about being proud of ourselves and I am I am truly so proud of myself especially that one framing part and then learning oh wait I could definitely do our floorboards and finish our floor on my own which feels so incredibly good even though my favorite time doing projects is when I'm doing them with my dad, but I digress. So the wall is done, but the space isn't done. Like there's upholstery kind of stuff, the drapery as well as the cushions to go on the bench. Those aren't going to be done for a while because my mom and I have to go pick up the foam. We have to pick up the fabric. She needs time to make them. So what I've done is I think you'll recognize this place. I've stopped at HomeSense and I am an eager little beaver right now. It is literally 10 a.m. on a Sunday and I'm already sitting in the parking lot and like the women are circling. 
<laughs> because it opens at 10. And I've never had a better parking spot at home since in winters. So I am very excited to go and dander around. It's gonna be really chill too, because obviously not too many people here right now. And what I'm gonna be looking for is some decor. I already have some decor bits, possibly some artwork. And what I really think I need to do um, because looking at the picture of the wall, it is such a beautiful, bright, uplifting sky blue. But I will say it leans more towards like a hyper feminine or juvenile kind of tone when everyone right now is doing earth tones. And I know that's like the biggest trend right now. And I love that. I truly do. I love it. But I also want a bright, colorful home that's inspiring. And so I need to almost like have decor ego death in that sense because I could easily have done this an earthy green and been like absolutely obsessed with it. But I'm also really obsessed with this too. However, I need to learn how to make this work. So all of the furnishings surrounding this space, I think need to be quite mature. And mature in the way that they are just like upscale looking, you know, like earthy tone with texture and things like that, but nothing too flamboyant, nothing too juvenile, if that makes sense. I also, I hope that makes sense. I don't know. I also put some of my books on the table this morning and one of my cooking books, if you can see that there, it's got this bright yellow. And I think what this space really requires is a citrus to make it pop. So I'm excited to be at home since and um, post caffeinated because I tried to film this earlier and I'm going to say I yawned like 20 times. There would have been so many cuts in it. So good morning officially once again. Let's do this. for our candles there, but I have to show you guys this. I've shown you this before. This is our battery buddy, so I've put all the extras in here. I'll link it down below. Honestly, as a chaotic Aries, this makes me channel my inner Virgo, which I don't have. <laughs> so it's like the best thing ever. If you have a Virgo in your life, they are gonna love this. Let's set up this table officially. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so finally this project is complete, except for a couple of things, but technically what I was working on is complete. And I'm wearing this beautiful yellow dress. I just got it from Winners, and it's definitely one of the colors of the season. Now, what I think is always a color of the season 
is blue. And showing you this space finally complete. The only couple things that we are missing are obviously the upholstery on the bench and then the curtains and then our dining chairs. But those will come with time. But I feel so proud of this space pulled together. A couple of little bits from HomeSense. These are all Fable. These placemats are from Ikea. I got these from, I think it's Rebecca Udall, but I it's escaping me. I will put that in the description box with everything else. And um, this as well. These are were both gifts from our wedding. These were as well, Le Creuset. And then I just purchased uh, um, these candle holders yesterday from HomeSense and then the candles from Amazon. And then the pillows as well from HomeSense. And I actually feel like they go really well together. I got them from two different HomeSenses and I was trying to find the perfect blue and I think I actually did achieve that. This will break up really nicely as well when we have upholstery on the bench and of course some more fabric to soften up there. I also created this little tiny vignette here with one of our, our rustic stool. I feel like we need five of these because I just use them all over the house. But that is our one and it's from Lemon Tree Co. in Alora. But I am going to love you and leave you with some really beautiful B-roll. Thank you so much for following along with this project. It was truly one of the most gratifying whenever I'm sitting on the couch or preparing something in the kitchen or of course setting the table. I just can't help but to stare at this blue and it really just lifts your spirit. So Scotty and I are gonna take some photos of this space as well to pop over on Instagram if you don't follow me on there as well. But I hope you enjoyed it and please do give it a thumbs up if you liked this project flip. Um, and if you have some suggestions for dining chairs because I am all ears. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.